persistent game. Destiny, the Taken King. Final Fantasy XIV Online. Guitar Hero Live. They wanna get my Lego Dimensions. Robin. Prison Architect. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And the BAFTA goes to Prison Architect. I've lost my voice. And even with a lost voice, Chris can't address an audience. Not a problem. Um, we're good friends. Good friends. Um, I, I promised myself I wasn't going to come up and say I was stunned I hadn't prepared a speech because you're bored of hearing that, but it's so true. Um, I need to thank Humble Bundle for getting Introversion back on its feet when we were not on our feet. I need to thank Ryan Sumo for doing the incredible art for Prison Architect. Yeah, give Ryan a clap. Wherever that was from, he's here. Yeah, Ryan's here. I need to thank John Cook and Double Eleven for the amazing console build of uh, Prison Architect that's uh, coming out soon, and definitely Bas uh, BAFTA for um, for giving us this award. But uh, above all, I need to thank every single one of the gamers that supported us for Prison Architect and put us on the stage today. Thank you, everybody. Guys, congratulations. Uh, Prison Architect has just won the Persistent Game Award. Brilliant news. Uh, I know that you've lost your voice through excitement, is that right? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> all, the, all the cheering and whooping <laughs> has, has taken it from me, but uh, I'm still here and I'm still going and I'm still making noises. This is what mean, winning means, isn't it? That's you right. Know, putting your body on the line. Just leave your voice at the back. You it's don't nothing, need it. a couple of glasses of champagne won't cure it. That's honest, what I was here, saying. Right? And I thought about giving my expect, uh, acceptance <laughs> speech using the medium of dance, but I, <laughs> I lost Sarah my... would have loved that. I would have stand there in silence yeah. where you just yeah. moved. <laughs> Interpretive <laughs> dance. <laughs> so, uh, Persistent Game, it, it's an odd category title, really, yeah. isn't it? Mm. it? If you didn't know, perhaps you wouldn't know what yeah. that meant. Does it mean that it, it just keeps dragging you back in? But of course, it doesn't. It means it, it's, it's a big big universe that exists sort of like independently almost. What makes a really good persistent game? I think, I think that um, it's about listening directly to the, to the player base to try and understand what they're enjoying in, in what you think is your game. It's not, it's their game. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to develop it based on what they're telling you um, works and what doesn't without trying to make everybody happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I've got to stop talking. I love how you sat there mute and <laughs> yeah. let him struggle. No, I'm, I'm allowing him to speak, exactly. I think it's, it's, it's I think the, the general... <laughs> I do find it quite funny. <laughs> I think the general idea... I mean, games are made in a different way now. You know, the idea of a game coming out and then being updated for, for three years mm. after that is... is quite a recent invention, yeah. I think. Um, but I think it's a brilliant way to make games because you get so much feedback whilst you're doing it. Um, and all these players play the game and, and tell you what they like and what they don't like. Yeah. And the game morphs in response to the audience that's playing the game. I think that's what the audience the award yeah. is. <laughs> so you think, I mean, so early access is, is given you a, a lot more to work with, basically. It's been an important yeah. element to the I think game. The, I think the early access approach to doing it from from the marketplace and Kickstarter as well mm. is very much this idea that it doesn't need to be three years working on your own and then you release the game mm -hmm. once. Mm. That's no longer necessary and especially in the indie world um, it makes a lot of sense um, to use the early access model mm. to release games that way. 
So you've talked about you know being going for three years. It's, it's across multiple platforms now. Uh, some people, I guess, are going to be saying, oh, is it is it time to, to wrap Prison Architect up? But my dream is that one day the world is just Prison Architect. It's <laughs> taken over everything. That's how much it's grown. Presumably, have it's you, your have dream. Have you too. seen what they create in Prison Architect? Yeah. Unbelievable. The world was a prison that they, some of the guys are created. I don't, I don't think you'd be very happy with no. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Hundreds and hundreds of hours of play that some people have put into it. Yeah, no, we're, we've, we've been developing it for a long time and we're going to keep going. Amazing. Yeah. And can these persistent games just go on and on and on then forever? Ad infinite. No, people get bored. No, <laughs> they will. They it's will. a very frank assessment yeah, from the game get, developer. Yeah, get bored and move on. So um, no, they can't go forever, and, and everything comes to an end eventually. Well, Absolutely. well done. Well, thank, thank you, thank you, very you so much. much. The BAFTA for artistic achievement goes to Ori and the Blind Forest. <laughs>